Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion for Elden Ring is here, and it means it's time to face off against some of the toughest and craziest bosses you've ever seen in a video game. And damn, what a crazy boss this is. A giant hippo? Yeah, no wonder people call these animals the most dangerous in the world. Luckily for you though, we here at Direct Gaming have the perfect guide for you on how to take on the Golden Hippopotamus. In this video, we're going to cover the following. First, the build used to take on the boss with some details on why certain items and talismans were used, a deep dive into how the boss fight works, what moves to look out for, and how to counter. Please keep in mind, you can use any build that you personally want for this fight. This is simply what our own little Bobby found to be the easiest for his run. Then finally, a full unedited run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to apply all that you've learned from the video. All right, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Starting off, here we have the base stats along with what our own little Bobby used for the fight. The full stats will be on the right side of the screen, while the weapons and other items will generally be on the left side slash center of the screen as well. Very similar to our Relina build, we have the following. For our right hand armament, we have heavy great stars at plus 25, which has the skill Prelate Charge. Our left hand armament has heavy great stars as well, with Finger Seal plus 24 for incantation casting. As for our armor, nothing has changed from the previous one. We have the Okina Mask, which gives plus three dexterity and plus six poise. Then we have the Bull Goat Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves, which give massive damage resistance for all of them, meaning you are not going to be taking as much damage, but this is Elden Ring, so you still got to be careful. As for the Talismans, we have the following. Millicent's Prothesis, which boosts dexterity plus five, raises attack power with successive attacks. Godskin Swaddling Cloth, again, successive attacks restore HP. Rotten Winged Sword Insignia, which greatly raises attack with successive attacks. And lastly, Dragon Quest Great Shield Talisman, which greatly boosts physical damage negation. For our Wondrous Sykes, we have the following. Flame Shrouding Cracked Tear, which temporarily boosts our fire attack. And Thorny Cracked Tear, which temporarily boosts successive attack power. For Incantations, we have the following as well. Flame Grant Me Strength, which raises physical and fire affinity attack power. Golden Vow, which increases attack and defense for self and allies. Blood Flame Blade, which enhances right hand armaments with Blood Flame, granting fire damage. And finally, Black Flame's Protection, which increases physical damage negation. Finally, for an extra consumable, we have Lightning Proof Dried Liver, which increases lightning damage negation. When the fight starts, this boss will wake up and rush straight at you to try and get some physical damage done. It will attempt to bite you a lot and is highly aggressive. Aside from that, it will also whip its head around, which will swing the camera when the player is really close. This is very similar to what we saw with the Lion Dancer in our previous boss guide, so make sure you keep an eye on that. One part that Bobby was not able to experience, but we have seen in other playthroughs on YouTube, is that the player can be swallowed by this boss. However, Bobby was able to take this thing down on his first try, so he wasn't able to encounter it. You, the player, are going to lose a large amount of health, so definitely be careful with that. For the first half of the health, nothing is really happening, and by the time you get around to the 50% mark, nothing is really changing. Holy crap, it's a hippo porcupine! She's gonna eat me! Yes, the hippo will actually sprout golden quills that I believe actually causes holy damage. This is where things can get a little scary if you're not prepared. So, if you'd like some extra defense against that, you can equip something like Holy Proof Dried Liver, which is much faster than an incantation to cast. But do keep in mind though, it doesn't provide as much defense as something like Lord's Divine Fortification. So just be careful when the porcupine part of him emerges, and uh, yeah, watch out for that scary beast. Yikes. Overall though, same plans we've used in our previous guides as well, and for a lot of the bosses in this game. Use your bus before entering the area, summon your mimic, allow it to grab the aggro from the boss, and dodge the wide AoE attacks of the bites, head, whips, and more. And of course, look out for the thorns in the second phase. Those things are deadly and a little scary. And other than that, this boss is actually relatively easy. You can probably take it down your first or second try and uh, you'll be good to go and move on. Now, here's a full run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to take down the Golden Hippopotamus. If you enjoy the guides and a like on the video shows us that you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to check out our other Elder Ring guides in the top right corner and pinned comments. If you enjoy live discussions or other game videos, then make sure to check out our other content as well on the channel. With that being said, I'm Talon with Direct Gaming. I want to thank you for watching the video and let us know how we can improve our guides going forward if you think that there's something we should change. Shout out to our pro gamer Little Bobby as always for the awesome gameplay, and you can follow him over on Twitter at Little Bobby's TV. We hope you have a great day and week, and we can't wait to see you all in the next one. Until next time, everyone. Johnny.